Selena Gomez bundled up against the cold while grabbing dinner at the celeb haunt Carbone in New York City on Wednesday night. The 30-year-old actress donned a fuzzy black and white striped sweater underneath a stylish black trench coat that hung off her slender shoulders. For a casual cool effect, the calm-down hitmaker completed the look with frayed blue jeans and black square toe boots. Gomez accessorized with big gold hoop earrings, and she painted her lips a vibrant red shade. The Hotel Transylvania actress tied her dark brown hair back in a tight bun. She seemed to be carrying a black handbag underneath her long coat. Gomez's appearance out came after a viral moment where the Texas native embraced Hailey Bieber, who is married to her ex-boyfriend Justin Bieber. Just two weeks after the 26-year-old supermodel publicly denied stealing her husband Justin Bieber from the pop star, the duo looked friendlier than ever as they smiled with their faces close together during the star-studded event. Tyrell Hampton shared a number of the photos to his Instagram. As the Vogue cover girl sat straight in her chair with one hand by her side and the other on her thigh, the Lose You To Love Me hitmaker had one of her arms gently wrapped around Haley's leg as she kneeled by her side. Other snaps showed them standing up and hugging as Haley held a cocktail and Gomez made it clear she holds no resentment toward her ex-boyfriend's wife by warmly embracing her. Both women, have been pitted against one another for years, looked cheerful as they chatted and shut down any speculation of drama between them. Their decision to be photographed together was reportedly to show the public Terry Snow B for bad feelings anymore, a source told DT. Selena and Haley were both super chill together at the Academy Museum Gala. They've both moved on and are happy in their own lives, the insider revealed. They wanted to show the world that Terry's no B for bad feelings between them anymore. As for Justin, who did not attend the gala, he is said to be very happy with the fact that they can all move on and that it can be peaceful between everyone. The duo's sighting together comes after Haley set the record straight about the timeline of her and Justin's relationship after years of fan-driven speculation that she stole him from Gomez. During her appearance on the Call Her Daddy podcast last month, the Road founder insisted to host Alexis Cooper that Justin, 28, had not cheated on Gomez with her. No, not once, she stated, adding that she and Justin began hooking up after had already split from his former on-slash-off girlfriend in early 2018. When him and I started hooking up, or anything of that sort, he was not in any relationship, it's not my character to mess with someone's relationship, I was raised better than that, Haley stressed. Justin and Haley, who'd had a previous fling in 2016, rekindled their flame in mid-2018. They were engaged by July, two months after his breakup with Selena, and tied the knot two months later. I understand how it looks from the outside, but that was a situation where I know for a fact that it was the right thing for, Justin and Selena, to close that door, but of course, Terry's a very long history there and I respect that a lot. I don't want to talk on either one of their behalfs, she explained. Meanwhile Selena seemed to reference the events in her 2020 hit song, Lose You To Love Me, with the lyrics, In two months you replaced us like it was easy. Being that Justin and Selena dated on Slash Off for nearly a decade, fans of both artists felt emotionally invested in their highly publicized Yelena romance. So, when they called it quits and he moved on with Haley, she became the main target of online backlash and fan conspiracies. A lot of the hate comes from like oh you stole him and the fact that he wished he ended up with someone else. And that
that's fine, you can wish that all you want, but it's not the case. There's a certain numbness that you get, she said of coming across hate comments and posts from Elena Devatiz. It still happens to this day, if I was to go live right now, it would still be happening. You reach a point where you have to ignore it, she told Cooper. If we have moved on, why can't you? Earlier in the day, a snippet from Haley's Call Her Daddy interview was teased online which touched on rumors that there was some crossover between her and Selena. This is so crazy I've literally never talked about this ever, the model responded after Cooper remarked on how the public was obsessed with the relationship between Justin and Selena. Then Cooper asked outright, were you ever with Justin romantically at the same time as, Selena? Bieber said she did want to finally address the claims about her stealing Justin from Selena. It's about people knowing the truth. Because Terry's a truth, Haley explained, but the truth was not revealed on the clip. Selena and Justin began dating in 2010. The former Disney star was about 18 at the time, Justin, about 16. The couple's first big break happened in 2012 and was followed by a series of makeups and breakups until 2018. Justin and Selena were last seen together in March of that year. The public first became aware of the sorry singer's relationship with Haley in June and after a whirlwind courtship, the pair tied the knot in a September 2018 courthouse ceremony in New York. Haley and Justin walked down the aisle in a religious ceremony the following year. Selena spoke about the nearly decade-long relationship with the Love Yourself artist on NPR in January 2020 while promoting her album, Rare. The Lose You To Love Me singer revealed the song helped her process her breakup with Justin, and in processing the work she realized the relationship was healthy. It's dangerous to stay in a victim mentality. And I'm not being disrespectful, I do feel I was a victim of a certain abuse. Justin exhibited some volatile behavior during his late teens, including arrests for drunk driving and vandalism. The confident artist revealed he was addicted to drugs in the documentary series Justin Bieber, Seasons. It was just an escape for me. I was just young, you know like everybody in the industry and people in the world who experiment and do, you know, just normal growing up things, he recalled. He continued, but my experience was in front of cameras and I had a different level of exposure and people and, like, I had a lot of money and a lot of things. So then you have all these people around me just kind of hanging on, wanting stuff from me, knowing that, like, I was living this lifestyle that they also wanted to live, drinking, smoking. Instead of going to rehab, the superstar turned to his pastor, using faith to become sober. In June 2022 the beautiful love artist revealed he had been diagnosed with Ramsey Hunt syndrome, which caused partial facial paralysis, making it difficult for him to perform. He paused his concert scheduled in at the time of the diagnosis and officially cancelled the rest of his world tour earlier this month. When asked by Lulu Garcia Navarro if she was referring to emotional abuse, Selena answered, Yes, and I think that it's something I had find a way to understand it as an adult. And I had to understand the choices was making, she continued. As much as I definitely don't want to spend the rest of my life talking about this, I am really proud that I can say I feel the strongest I've ever felt and I've found a way to just walk through it with as much grace as possible. The Calm Down singer has since gone on to become a mental health advocate, launching the Wonder Mind website earlier this year. 
The site offers tools to help with various struggles and works to destigmatize mental health issues.